Hello, my name is Annalisa Young and my nickname is Allie and I am the leader of Velvet Kitsune, a new J-pop unit that is based in New York City that is currently accepting applications. I wanted to make this video to tell you a little bit about our history and um, what some of the goals are for what some of the goals I have for this group in the future as far as conventions and products and singles and image and kind of what I'm looking for in applicants but first I'm going to start off with telling you about our history. So Velvet Kitsune started in November 2014. It was originally a Japanese culture club and my friends and I who love you know anime and manga and j-pop idols decided that we wanted to start a culture club so it was designed to mirror idol culture so each member had their own official color which they passed down if they you know left or graduated from the school and they would give it to another new member and we all had our own like official mascots for each member and we all had um you know, favorite mangas and things like that, and um, roles in the club that correspond with what we liked in fandom. So there was someone in charge of the manga, the pop music part of it, the food side of things. So the Velvet Kitsune name I felt didn't really encompass all the things that I wanted us to do as a club and what we stood for because while the kitsune part people would think oh it's that's a japanese word so it's a japanese culture club but it didn't have the right feeling to it um so i renamed it amp so um anime manga and pop for pop music and the colors still remained members still have official colors in the club and the club was made official on March 2nd, 2015, and the day after that, Sweetbriar announced that it was closing. So we were kind of taken aback um, and really depressed and kind of, you know, you know, fuck everything. Um, excuse my language. Um, so after being you know really depressed for quite some time you know I decided that you know what I'm not going to like you know have a club and like us not do anything so for like kind of like the last hurrah I was like L we're going to do the maid cafe because that was the big thing that we wanted to do and we immediately started you know putting together plans and my friend Madeline and Angel, we both kind of had this like renewed sense of energy to do th to do this, you know, in, in spite of us having to apply to new schools and get recommendation letters, worrying about where we were going to see, wh where we we're going to spend the fall and if we were even going to be together. I already had, you know, the sense that my friend Madeline and I were going to be together. You know, I had some comfort that my friend and Angel my friend Angel and I would end up together but that was still kind of up in the air so we immediately like we went for funding and a lot of clubs were doing this in order to you know still do things you know the the semester was still going on we didn't know how things would end up but a lot of people had kind of a renewed sense of energy to you know do things and still you know give it our all in what everything was the, in spite of everything that was happening so we requested funding we managed to get like 200 and something dollars um, to fund this event we got the maid costumes and all the ingredients we need we did food shopping the other which was really really fun actually and um, we had four maids and, and then we ended up having five maids. We managed um, to rope um, 
Monica in it last minute. She was like, she didn't know that Sweetbriar had a Japanese culture club. So like when she found out that we were a thing, she was like really excited. And we had a lot of fun like playing Uno with our friends and, you know, singing, you know, anime tunes with, um, with each other and talking with our guests and we were really fast like we got a lot of you know customers exactly what they wanted we offered tea and mississippi mud pie and um we tried our hand at castella but it didn't really like turn out right because we didn't have you know the proper mixing tool but it was still really good um my friend madeline made cookies from scratch and it's actually that memory is like one of my favorite at Sweetbriar is like one of the most perfect times that I had there because you know in spite of everything we pushed forward and we did everything that you know we wanted to do we were tired after that but it was just wonderful and so many people you know had so much fun and we got a lot of great pictures out of it too and what ended up happening was Sweetbriar didn't close which was great but um, a lot of my friends that were original like founding members of the club ended up transferring to other schools, which was really heartbreaking, but understandable at the same time that we still do talk and um, we still keep in contact, which is just wonderful. And the club continued and it became a tradition to have a maid cafe. Um, the second time we had a maid cafe, it was a um, puppy cafe and we raised money for the Amherst Humane Society. Um, we raised like $25 and the um, the cookies and the lemonade and stuff they were donated so we didn't have to like come out of pocket for that so more went so a lot so pretty much all of the money went to the Amherst Humane Society which was really great and we then we had members who were seniors so just like in the idol you know universe the girls graduated and this was like you know my time I'm like i'm gonna revive velvet kitsune and i wrote a song called dearest which is a graduation single and ashton and i sang it together and we had really like a lot of fun like we we're both really busy but she push you know the things she needed aside and she came and met with me and Benedict and we quickly went over the lyrics like we only had like a couple of days to pull this off and we held a graduation you know concert for them and we read them cards and it was just really wonderful um, to finally do a graduation for the senior members of AMP and that it kind of felt like it was like going becoming full circle like my whole vision of having a Japanese culture club that also mirrors some aspects of the idol world so Velvet Kitsune kind of even though it kind of went under the radar a little bit it, but the still the same idea of it being me, like an idol you know designed club never faded so it was still kind of there in the background, kind of doing the inner workings of how the club was organized. So fast forward to now that I'm back in New York City and I have, you know, more time to focus on it since I graduated from Sweetbriar this past May. I have more time to focus on my composing, which means oh, like a lot to me. And, you know, getting Velvet Kitsune off the Floor and able to actually do more activities. I imagine, you know, Velvet gets to name maybe a year or two down the road being invited to a anime convention in New York City, um, possibly even sooner than that. And I envision the members to be incredibly energetic and diverse. And diverse can be meaning a whole bunch of different ways of meaning diverse um, language, race body type just every way you can imagine that and Velvet Kitsune is truly supposed to kind of mirror the diversity of New York City um, either the diversity between the boroughs between language and culture um, 
they're supposed to be ambassadors for their respective bur boroughs that they um, represent. And um, when I'm looking at applications, I really want to see girls that are energetic, that are really excited about being a member of Velva Kitsune, that are really excited about, you know, singing, who can't see themselves doing anything else. I want to see girls who are talented, but I also realize that not everyone has the resources in order to get to the point where they need to be. So Velvet Kitsune is going to be a kind of a work in progress idol group in addition to having high standards when it comes to, you know, character and motivation and um, kind of the, like the rays of positivity and um, warmness that they project because I would love to have girls who are really like, you know, warm and welcoming, who are just like someone you can imagine being your friend. Um, and the music is going to be more upbeat, but not too upbeat. It's going to kind of be more like a middle ground between kind of like the really hyper and bubbly pop music that we come to expect from a lot of idol groups. Um, the music I mostly compose is very electronic, though I can make other um, sounds, sound like and um, music, and I imagine that the style will like organically change depending on the members that are added so it's all kind of up in the air as far as what's what it's going to sound like because it all also depends on kind of what the voices are what the members voices are and kind of what sounds more natural and matches our styles more and that's just that's all I really wanted to say. Um, so thank you for watching this video and I hope that if you're interested in joining Velvet Kitsune, you don't feel like afraid to apply. Um, and I hope you're not deterred by anything in the application. If you have any questions about the application and kind of what, um, why I asked for certain information, like, you know, you know, your body type and stuff like that, it's more so it just streamlines everything. Um, it makes it easier down the road when I need to buy t-shirts for members or um, other information like that. Um, so please apply and um, feel free to shoot me an email and um, forward the website to your friends who may be interested. So um, thank you so much for watching and bye bye.